okay so this is about my bad waitress story and yeah it all started when i started looking at my cousin and she started looking at me then i was looking at her looking at me looking at her looking at me and i was like i got money and she was like yay because money equals weed equals happiness but yeah anyways so i gave the money to her and she gave the money to her stepdad and he bought the weed because one i am not intimidating two i don't look intimidating so they'll probably try to rip me off three they look intimidating so anyways fast forward we went downstairs and we started smoking the weed and i was like i think we got ripped off because i wasn't feeling high but at that point my cousin was high as shit like no joke so fast forward so we went outside to go to my aunt's house because she sells weed so while looking for the weed i realized my cousin's face was getting bigger and smaller and i was like ew you trying to kiss me and she was like what and at that point i just tripped like the face she made was so funny like i couldn't stop laughing and she was staring at me like uh so the bad weed trip was kind of creeping up on me and it hit me like i don't know the feeling kind of felt like elephants running through my body and i couldn't hear shit and then i started screaming and she was like what and i was like ah and she was like ah and i was like ah okay so let me fully explain why i scream so at first everything was moving in slow motion then fast then slow and the lights were like flickering then I'm getting dark and i thought i was going to go blind and i like the sound keep repeating in my head over and over and over so fast forward so the bitch started panicking and thought it would be a good idea to call the police or the ambulance and keep in mind everything was moving in slow motion so i don't know how hard i hit her but i knew i hit her and i was like get me some water and she was like get you water then you attack me no so the plan was to go and tell her stepdad that i was tripping so she told her stepdad and I realized that I was alone so I got scared and started running outside and I ran through rocks, glass, grass, everything and he grabbed me and he was like yo chill out and I was like yell at me some more I like it and he was like huh but honestly the feeling was going away when he yelled at me more so that's the only reason why he said it so anyways he picked me up then threw me inside the bathroom then they stripped me naked thinking that they could like wash off the feeling so she turned on the shower and grabbed my hands and started praying and I closed my eyes but at that point I wanted to redeem myself because I knew I was going to go to hell and she started talking about demons and hell and asking God to forgive me and I was like getting so scared and everything like got dark and at that point I thought I was dead. And for some strange reason my legs couldn't stop shaking and i started crying because i was thinking about like school and like my friends so i was like since i'm in hell i might just make some last minute confessions so i started screaming i'm gay i'm gay and they were like whoa and i was i don't know so they decided to put clothes on me drag my ass outside and he slammed me in a chair and he was like okay when was the last time you ate and i was like uh eight hours ago and he gave me this whole long ass lecture about how you're supposed to eat before smoking weed and my cousin was doing the absolute most telling everybody that i was going crazy so she called my sister and my sister was like oh my god so she drove all the way down to their house and she came and she was like eh, what is the matter chill out nothing is wrong with you and i was kind of mad on the inside that she was like treating me like this and wasn't like hugging me so fast forward her stepdad bought something for me to eat and he was like before my wife get home chill out 
but like these chips were like so freaking hot but my mouth was like numb so i really didn't care my cousin was like these are hot to you and the next morning i woke up i woke up with like scars all in my mouth because you know yeah so fast forward his wife got home and she chose all this to ask me like the weirdest questions like how was your day how are you what's your shoe color and i took forever just to say yes anyways nothing special happened after that so Ooh. So, anyways that was the end of the story and nothing exciting happened after that like i basically gave all the details of the story and all the good parts that i could have put in it was obviously longer than it actually was it lasted like eight hours that whole experience so yeah that's 